Hi, Eric. Thanks for joining me this morning. Uh, this interview is part of an ongoing series focused on various people from various backgrounds and how they live their life to the optimum. Eric, what first drew you to the health industry? Uh, looking for an opportunity to be, to be able to affect people in a different way. I've done a lot of different things in my background and never kind of really felt quite satisfied. Um, that was just what drew me to, to continue to go on. Okay. A lot of people out there have no idea that a chiropractor's education in the areas of nutrition and anatomy are much more extensive than that of an MD. I'm talking about a general practitioner. Uh, is that correct? Yeah, it is. It is. Okay. That's what, that's what some of my other chiropractor friends have explained to me. Um, one of the things I try to highlight in these interviews is the importance of a healthy body and the role that plays in the bigger picture of living life to the optimum. Uh, obviously, you practice what you preach. What do you do to stay in shape? Uh, I do a variety of things, uh, variety being the real key, I think, in any workout, uh, trying to continually uh, stimulate your body in different ways. So I, every now and then I run a little bit, uh, do some weights, uh, CrossFit, any, anything I can to just uh, try and stay at a peak. Okay, keep mixing it up then. Yeah. Huh? Okay. Um, what was your one biggest obstacle in becoming a doctor? I waited way too long. Yeah? Uh, just because, like I said, I did a lot of different things in my past, it, it, it seems like you, you, know, you just kind of you find your way when you're ready to find your way. Mm -hmm. And yeah. that was probably the biggest obstacle. It seemed like it took me so long to do it. I didn't go back uh, to be a chiropractor until I was in my uh, mid or late 30s. So. Okay. Okay, well, never too late. That's it. All right, in addition to being a doctor, you're also an entrepreneur. Um, does your practice focus on a specific segment of the population or a specific modality or technique? We, we don't really. It's more of a general chiropractic thing. We do incorporate all of the, of the number of things that we affect really feel people. So we talk about nutrition. Uh, we do a lot of posture or uh, biomechanics. Uh, we have acupuncture in the clinic as well. But... If I, if I only deal with athletes, then I isolate myself from other aspects of the population who I know mm -hmm. need the care as well. So our doors are open right. to anybody who would come in. Okay. Yeah, and your wife is an acupuncturist, correct? Yeah, that's correct. Okay. Uh, what do you see on a daily basis as far as what patients um, suffer from or what is causing them pain or discomfort that you feel is totally treatable? I'd have to say that there are, there are two things that are probably really key to, to, to driving poor health. Uh, the idea, the, the idea of movement, or that we, or we lack the ability to move, uh, uh, whether it's just because we get stiff or it's uh, repeated injuries or whatever it might okay. be, uh, and then the other, the other huge component is nutrition. Uh, we're killing ourselves in the United States with what we eat. Uh, the beautiful thing about our bodies is that we are it's always trying to make up for what we put into it or what we do to it. But even, e even the incredible machine that it is, it has limits and. That's what we're trying to do. We, when we get a hold of folks and they're open to it, uh, then we'll try and touch on as many of those aspects as we can to restore their health. Okay. Um, and to wrap it up, what is it you love most about what you do? Uh, I probably get the greatest thrill out of uh, out of working with little kids, little babies. And nice. They, they just they they respond they respond so well, and and, and they're just so much fun so, so much fun to deal with. So. Which is a good point because a lot of people think only adults can go to chiropractors, which Correct. is totally untrue. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 tough with kids. Uh, oftentimes, especially young kids, uh, they can't they can't verbalize, so they can't mm -hmm. say, "Oh, mom, it hurts to do this," right? And, right. Uh, but they, like I say, the, when you when you catch them, you know, when you when you when they find they can't do something or they stop doing something, that's typically what parents will notice. And if we can get them in, they usually respond pretty well. Excellent. All right, if people out there uh, watching this would like to get a hold of you, uh, how would they go about doing that? A couple different ways. The, the most direct way is to give us a call at the office. Uh, the number is 619-444-3477. Uh, you can check or get, or get more information on our website, which is hamishawchasechiro.com. Hamishaw, of course, is crazy. J-A-M-A-C-H-A, chasechiro.com. Okay. Uh, thank you very much for taking the time to meet with me today, Eric. Thanks for having me on.